Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline, your tarot reader and energy healer. It's so great to have you here today. And we will be, this whole week, we have been looking at the energies of the Native American deck. So if you have not had a chance to watch the uh, videos, go back um, and take a look at the videos from the week. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's some really great uh, set, extra special uh, stories that come from the uh, the book that comes with the deck. Some really um, amazing stories and inspiration, insight into uh, Native American uh, culture and uh, religion. And uh, so as we get started here today, I'd like to put some Reiki energy into the deck. And ask for divine guidance and wisdom, direction, insight, um, and uh, protection for today. Okay, so let's uh, start uh, for with some guidance here. So it's Friday, we've come to the end of the week. And it's also the first. Happy New Year. Oh, cool, this is one of my favorite cards. It is the Hangman, the Sundance. So we got uh, two major arcana for the week. Uh, here's the, uh, the first days, the uh, Sundance. Uh, the Twelve, the Sacrifice. Um, here we see a uh, Native American who's uh, being hung for a period of time in a, a ceremony. Just like, you know, the hangman hangs upside down and is finding a new uh, perspective on things. And you can look at that for the new year right now that you're being called to kind of see a new perspective, a new way of, of looking at things and, you know, potentially a year of uh, sacrifice. So let's take a look in the book and see what uh, messages are coming out for us. So as we're going through um, today, if there are any things that especially spark your interest or you would like to add, Please comment down below. Um, they'll be there. Things that um, are added and are important for all of us. If you're impressed, it's, you know, for all of us to hear. Okay, 12. The sun dance or the hangman. Okay, so just to remember. Sorry, I can't hold these while I'm reading because I have to use this thing to help me, help me read better. Okay, um, during the mid 1800s, the major tribunal ritual performed. The tribal, the major tribal ritual uh, performed by the people of the plains was the sun dance. The dance served as a means of thanking the sun for past favors fulfilling personal vows and petitioning for protection and blessings for the future. From tribe to tribe, details differed, but all counts, it was a long and complex ceremony and invariably began with the purification of participants in a sweat bath in the medicine lodge. A medicine man um, slit the chest or back of the participant, sliding either one or a pair of skewers through the skin and flesh. The skewers were tied with thongs to the top of the center pole. And with an eagle uh, bone whistle held firmly and blown constantly between his teeth, the dancer tugged until the skewers were torn away. Ooh, this is kind of like gruesome. In some tribes, the men stood back and pulled until the thongs were tight 
In others, they were lifted off the ground and swung from the thongs until the skewers were torn out. The Sundance card depicts a participant hanging by skewers with his back with a wand in one hand and a medicine feather skewered in his other arm. Um, the medicine men and other participants sit around the uh, medicine lodge. There are personal medicine shields um, hanging behind them on the wall and the sacred buffalo skull hanging on the center lodge pole. This card represents the symbolic death, the annihilation of self that represents the uh, first and final steps in the process of attaining the rank of adept. Inherent is the idea of sacrifice. It is important to remember the why and how of one's enlightenment. To acquire the knowledge of one's boundless heritage, especially to the Native American, it is necessary to be on good terms with nature and her children, to treat all with absolute respect, acceptance, love, and even worship. So, you know, it's uh, being willing to uh, sacrifice all, uh, accept whatever is needed uh, for your uh, path or your causes. I kind of was drawn to this um, Inherent is the idea of sacrifice. It's important to remember the why and how of one's enlightenment. The why and how of one's enlightenment. So as we're um, going into this new year, uh, really uh, feeling in our hearts, you know, that a lot of us being awakened to this uh, new mission, becoming an adept in the world, in, uh, in our growth, but never to forget um, why we are where we are and um, how we got here and uh, where we're going. So it's uh, to treat all nature and humans alike with absolute respect, acceptance, love, and worship. So um, that's a, a really uh, beautiful message for today as we go into the new year. Um, I really long for each one of you to be uh, filled with um, the purpose and the presence of your life as you move forward. And thank you so much for coming to this video. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you're on Instagram, you know, uh, hit the follow and I will continue on. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to continue uh, more videos having to do with the Native Americans uh, next week. Or if you'd like to go to a different deck. But um, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. And we will go from there. Alright, I'll see you next week. And Happy New Year.